Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Paduan. We are back to our latest analysis for this Monday through Wednesday, August 29 to 31st, 2022. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Now this is our English version of the latest weather situation in and around the Philippine Islands and uh, across the Western Pacific. We have a rapidly developing typhoon right now. This is Hinam Nor, which developed during the past 24 hours. It's a rapidly intensifying tropical cyclone with a small uh, circumference or very, very small circulation. And it's likely to grow in size as it moves closer to the south of Okinawa. Based on the uh, latest uh, forecast uh, models, uh, this uh, uh, small typhoon will uh, eventually reach super typhoon status within the next uh, 24 to 48 hours right now. It has winds of 185 kph. And alongside of Hinan Moor, we have a uh, low pressure area. This was once 98W and is also trying to organize over the uh, Philippine Sea. And we are also keeping an eye on this uh, low pressure system. But in the long run, this LPA will be absorbed into the circulation of the much stronger Hinam Nor as it moves closer towards Okinawa area. So what will be the forecast? It will enter the Philippine area responsibility. That's the latest forecast since a ridging high pressure, a building high pressure ridge to the north of uh, this system will push it temporarily more to the south until it reaches just to the east of the Taiwan below 25 north. So it will enter par and likely it will be named as uh, Gardo by Pagasa. So we'll keep you updated. We'll be issuing storm watches on this system once a day, tropical cyclone advisory on this uh, tropical cyclone. But the good news, let's not be worried on this system since it is uh, not expected to directly affect any parts of the country. So let's proceed now with our graph set. You can clearly see here some cloudiness with thunderstorms across Mindanao because of a surface trough. The rest of the Philippine Islands will remain hot and sunny. High heat index reaching a high, high of uh, around 45 degrees centigrade will be expected all throughout the archipelago with some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms across the western sections of northern and central Luzon. Watch out for possible flash floods, landslides when we have this uh, extreme or severe localized thunderstorms and if you take a look at the uh, uh, fast animation from university of wisconsin tropical cyclone page there you go the small but terrible typhoon hinam nor and uh, here's the lpa that we are keeping an eye for possible development and uh, if we zoom it using the infrared satellite animation from windy.com a strong thunderstorm over the southern portions of Central Luzon, Bataan, northern portions of Metro Manila is now is beginning to uh, decay as it exits the West Philippine Sea. Here is another LPA 98W that we are keeping an eye, but uh, based on the model, this system will be absorbed into the circulation of uh, Typhoon Hinamnor. Okay, and. Uh, Let's take a look now on the track of all Asian agencies monitoring Hinam Nor. And for the next uh, three days, the system will move more to the west southwest, entering the Philippine Air Responsibility late uh, August 31st or Wednesday or September 1st, August, uh, Thursday. September 1st, Thursday. And it will remain quasi stationary over this area to the south of Okinawa, east of Taiwan. And maybe some uh, effects will be felt across the uh, northern seaboards of extreme northern Luzon, including Batanes, because of the uh, large wind area of this uh, tropical cyclone once it reaches the lower portions of the, uh, uh, once it reaches the northern portions of the uh, Philippine Sea. So that's the forecast for the next five days. So it will be remain, it will be uh, remain, it will remain over this area beginning September 1st and until uh, September 3. 
And if you take a look at the forecast, uh, global forecast models, majority of them, after uh, moving more to the southwest, it will remain quasi stationary and move towards south and move towards Kyushu, Japan, while the others over uh, Yayama Peninsula, uh, that's the uh, uh, US Navy model, and this is the uh, United Kingdom model making landfall over Taiwan. So it's still uh, early to tell, but we will keep an eye on this uh, very strong but small typhoon. Here's the uh, pressure and wind forecast from uh, windy.com this is the european model so that's the uh, track that the system will do okay by the way this is the american model not the uh, european model yet and there you go it will eventually move out and make landfall of a western japan while the uh, european model is also the same okay it will dive down more to the uh, east of Taiwan and remain quasi stationary before moving towards the north back to Okinawa area. And uh, for the rain forecast until uh, Thursday, we expect some um, afternoon and evening rain showers, the local localized ones affecting the uh, various sections of the country. Wednesday afternoon again. More thunderstorms will be in store as there will be a slight westerly to southwesterly wind flow or a weak habagat. And on Thursday, September 1st, uh, still some westerly winds will be expected with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly over Luzon and Mindanao. But the southwest monsoon, during the presence of uh, Himan, uh, during the presence of during the presence of Hinan Hinam Nor during during the presence during the presence of Hinam Mo during the presence of Hinam Nor will eventually slightly during the presence of Hinan Mor the system during the presence during the presence Now, during the presence of Hinam Nor, the uh, southwest monsoon will be uh, enhanced very weak, okay? Not quite strong. As you can see, the winds is more from the west. But we will keep you updated whenever there's a changes on the monsoon uh, forecast. And uh, rainfall accumulation for the next three days. Uh, the rainfall are more focused over... Uh, Northern Luzon and the Central Luzon area, and also Mindanao. And here's the other LPA. Okay, so that's it. That's the latest for this evening. And we will return by uh, Wednesday or even tomorrow to give you a special coverage on this uh, fast moving typhoon. But we will keep you updated. For the meantime, relax. No need to panic. This system is not expected to directly affect any part of the country. It is expected just to linger to the east of Taiwan before moving more to the north by uh, between September 2 to 3. So uh, uh, let's hope and pray that it stays that way. Again, this is Mike Pali reporting. See you again in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. Uh, from Typhoon 2000, thank you so much for watching our channel.